Welcome to my channel and this time we want to look at how to find solutions to system of linear equations by using inverse matrix. So it would be, if you are given a system of linear equation, the first thing would be doing is extract the augmented matrix, then find the inverse of that matrix, and then use that inverse to find the solution to the system. So let's begin by the first example here. And the first example says, by finding the inverse of the matrix, solve the following system. So what I do, I extract the augmented matrix, and this is one, two, negative four, negative one, negative one, three, negative one, negative two, five, and find the inverse of that matrix. So to find the inverse of this matrix, we have various methods, and we we'll just employ one of the methods. So the one that I've used is the row reduction. But you may want to use the other method because we've already learned on how to find the inverse of matrices. Now, by row reduction, you remember we said that for us to get the inverse of this matrix, we'll want to carry out elemental row operations on this. So I've just written the matrix here. Then beside it, I've written the identity matrix. So I want to carry out elemental row operations on this to transform this matrix to identity matrix. Once this becomes identity matrix, whatever shall be here will be the inverse of this matrix. And we've already gone through this process. We are all aware of it. So let's just do that. I have this one. I want zeros here and here. So I'll take row 1 plus row 2. That will give me a zero in this position. And row 1 plus row 3 would give me a zero in this position. So let's do that. So 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 2 plus negative 1 is 1. Negative 4 plus 3 would be negative 1. And to do that, 1 plus that would be 1. 0 plus that would be 1. And 0 plus that. So you have the entire row there. Then what about the row 3? This plus that would be 0. This plus that would be 0. And this plus that would be will be 1 positive. This plus that would be 1. This plus that would be 0. This plus that would be 1. So this is 1, 0, 1. Okay. So once we've done that, we've achieved the first thing that we have 1 in this position and zeros elsewhere in the column. So we now come to this one, and we want it to be the only non-zero element in column two. In other words, we need a zero in this position, and then a zero in this other position. Luckily, we have a zero now. So we only need to get a zero in this position. How do we get it? By taking row one minus two, row two. And that's what I wrote here. So let's just see what happens. Maybe let's move this up. Just want to move it slightly. It's okay. Yes, let's move it slightly, slightly. That I have the two matrices to refer to. That's good. Now, so I want, I want a zero here. So it's row one minus two row two. So in other words, two minus two multiplied by this gives me zero. Negative four minus two multiplied by this gives me negative two. One minus two multiplied by this gives me negative 1, 0 minus 2 multiplied by 1, gives me negative 2, and then finally I have a 0. Now, so I've achieved uh, that I have 1 here, elsewhere I have a 0, I have 1 here, elsewhere I have 0 in the column, so I now have this 1, and I want to use it to get zeros elsewhere in this column. So what do I do? For this row, 
row 2, I only need to take the row 2 element plus row 3 element. Row 2 element plus row 3 element. And for this position, I'll take row 1 element plus 2 row 3 element. So when you do that, when you do that, what you get? This plus this gives me 0. Gives me that is 0. This plus this gives me 2. This plus this gives me 1. This plus this gives me 1. What about this plus two times this? This is zero. This negative one plus two times this gives me one. Negative two plus two times this gives me negative two. And zero plus two times one gives me two. I've achieved what I wanted. I wanted this, the matrix that was here to become identity matrix. And I can see it has already become identity matrix. What means, that means that whatever was here, whatever is now here, is the inverse of the matrix that we were given. So I now have the inverse. And that's why I wrote and said, I wrote and said that thus, thus, the inverse of this matrix is this. I just extracted like this one to become the inverse. Now that I have the inverse, I want to use it to get a solution to that system. So I multiply by the inverse on both sides. Remember that that is this, this is my inverse. And these were the augmented matrix I extracted from that system. Then multiply by the elements, the, the unknowns in the system. The unknowns in the system were A, B, C. This was A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So I put it in a vertical, in column form, A, B, C. It should give us the same result. It should give us this that I should multiply the inverse on the left of whatever was, what, where did I get this 2, 3, 5 from? Let me show I got 2, 3, 5 from. I just go back to the system, back to the system, and I see 2, 3, 5, 2, 3, 5. And ABC got them from here, ABC, 2, 3, 5. So let's see, let's go back and just multiply. And we know how to multiply matrices. So when you multiply these, since these two are inverses of each other, they'll give us one, one, zero, zero, the identity matrix. Give us the identity matrix. And a matrix times its inverse gives us the identity matrix. So this two would give us this, then times ABC. And this product on the right side gives us 6, 12, 7. This product on the left side gives us ABC. And this remains as 6, 12, 5. So we found the result to the system. This is the solution to that system. That the value of A is 6, the value of B is 12, and the value of C is 7. I want us to take one more example so that our work will become familiar with this type of working. What is the question? The question, the next example is, find <clears throat> this inverse and use it to solve this system. Whenever this question is asked, you can see that the matrix here are the coefficients of this. So you can see that this two, this is two, one, negative two, two, one, negative two. This is three, negative three, one, negative one. 3, negative 3, negative 1, 
and this is one negative two three one negative two three so whenever this question is asked then you must know that this inverse just comes from this system so we want to find the inverse of this in our previous example we've looked at finding the inverse of this using wrong reduction this time i want us to find this inverse by use of the adjoint method so and i said there are various methods this is upon you to choose which method you want to use to find the inverse unless if the question has specified for you the method now so using the adjoint method and we saw this in our previous video where we're looking at how to find the inverse of matrix by adjoint method so to find the inverse of the adjoint method the first thing i did was to find the determinant of this matrix and again you have various ways of doing that and uh, let's look at this method and you know this method so to find the determinant of this matrix uh, multiply these entries these entries and then this as you add then multiply along this diagonal along this diagonal and along this diagonal as you subtract and you get negative 26 as your determinant once you've gotten negative 26 as your determinant proceed to get the cofactor matrix the cofactor matrix just as we did in our previous video and this is the cofactor matrix let me just for those who have not watched the video let me just show you what we did but you must go and watch the video so that you are familiar with how to get the universal matrix by adjoint method. Now, so to get this is the matrix you have 2, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 3, and negative 1, 1, negative 2, and 3. And we want to get a cofactor. So we go for the cofactor in this position just delete this row and this column and it will be the determinant of the matrix that is left when you delete that row and that column so that's why you, you see in my working i have negative three negative one negative two and three then we'll have minus this time we are in this position so delete this row and this column. So when you delete that row and that column, what do you get? Let me just reverse this a bit. So when you delete this row and this column, what is left is three negative one and one three, the determinant of that. So that's what we are seeing in my working here. That's what you are seeing, and that's how I did it. You can see I have this determinant, then this determinant, then that determinant, and so on. You then find those determinants. When you find those determinants, this is the matrix you obtain. This is what you get. So the adjoint of this of the of the earlier matrix is the transpose of this matrix. So the transpose of this matrix is this, and we have already defined what the transpose transpose of matrix is in our earlier video. It's just the matrix you get when you write the first row to be the first column, the second row to be the second column, the third row to be the third column. So this is the adjoint of A. So the inverse of A is 1 over determinant of A times the adjoint of A. And you had, you had already found the determinant of A as negative 26. So that the inverse of A becomes this. 
Now, once you have the inverse, multiplied, multiply that inverse to the left, the left of the of the coefficient matrix. I have not liked the left of this matrix. This matrix we get it from our system. Then times x, y, z, and this inverse modeled by what our solution to the system was, the solutions of the, of, to the equations. Because the first equation, is, it was equal to six, and then the second equation was equal to five, then the third equation equal to three. So it, that is why you see six, five, three. I got it from there. Six, five, three. And as I've already explained the previous example, these two give us identity matrix. And identity matrix times this x, y, z gives us x, y, z. And when you multiply the right hand side, this is what you've got. So this becomes the solution to this the system that we are given. And the method that will be used is the method of finding the inverse of the matrix.